Hello everyone, welcome back to the Popsicle Night channel. My name is Joseph and today we're taking a look at Crocodile from Vivid Voltage. But before that, I want to first thank you for taking the time to check out this video. Please leave a like to this video, hit that thumbs up, or hit that thumbs down if you dislike this video. This actually helps me out with the YouTube algorithm getting this video to more viewers like you. And please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. And feel free to share this content. So let's get started. Crocodile has 150 HP with two attacks. The one we really want to focus on is Dredge Up. For just two colorless energy, you discard the top three cards of your opponent's deck. Tantrum can come in handy if you need Crocodile to attack, but it requires a lot of energy. And the goal for this particular build really is to deck out your opponent. So there shouldn't be really a need for us to attack that way anyways. Crocodile on its own just won't work because it can easily get knocked out, so it needs to combo with other Pokemon to make it work. And to make room, we will only be playing a 2-1-2 line of Crocodile in this build, but that should be enough because our opponent will have a hard time hitting it, and I'll explain how. But it is worth noting that the two pre-evolutions have the same attack dredge up. The only difference is Sandile requires 4 colorless energy to use it, and Krokorok needs 3 colorless energy to use it. So as it evolves, the less energy you need to use Dredge Up. Okay, so I had to figure out how to use Dredge Up while preventing Crocodile from getting knocked out. One way is to confuse your opponent and then prevent them from retreating. And so I will be using Cradilly with the Swaying Strangle ability. As long as your opponent's active Pokemon is affected by a special condition, it cannot retreat. Your opponent will have to use Switch or Supports to switch out their Pokemon. So I have a 2-2 line of Cradilly in this build. And then to confuse our opponent, I will be using two copies of Inkei with a Perplex attack. For just one Dark Energy, your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. And to make it even more difficult for our opponent, I also added two lines of Wicked Ruler Obstagoon. Its ability makes your opponent discard cards until they only have four left in their hand. So this could limit your opponent from doing anything to get out of the confusion lock. And lastly, I have Snorlax to Garmandize for more cards from our deck into our hand. I really did my best to make this a one pricer deck, so I didn't add a Crobat V or did any GX. As for the rest of the deck, I have two Evolution Incense, two Ordinary Rod, two Pokemon Communication, three Quick Ball, three Rare Candies, two Scoop Up Net, two Switch, one Unidentified Fossil for setting up our Cradily line, Two yellow horns, this is useful for confusing our opponent's active if our NK is not available. One Chaotic Swell Stadium, one Pokemon Research Lab Stadium. Uh, this one's really good for setting up our two Cradily line. Although it ends our turn, it sets up the two Lily into our bench. And it's always best to use this on your very first turn if it's possible. Next, we have two boss's orders. Use this one sparingly and make sure to target Pokemon with no energy and the one with the most retreat cost to them and put them into the active. Next, we have one Cynthia and Caitlyn, two Marnie. This is good for limiting our opponent's hand too. One Pierce to easily get our dark type Pokemon and also our special energies. One Professor's Research, two Skyla, and one Sonya. As for energy, I have one triple acceleration energy for emergency attacks, one aurora energy mainly for Lilip, so we can use its confuse ray attack to confuse our opponent's active. This is good if you have no other options to confuse your opponent. Four hiding energy really helps out giving our dark type Pokemon free retreats, which actually helps out in this mill deck which requires a lot of switching between our Pokemon. Four twin energy and three basic dark energy. For this build, the best setup is to set up your true Cradilis in the very beginning with Snorlax in the active to continue with Gormandize, and then lock your opponent's Pokemon in the active by confusing it with Inkei, or the Yellhorn, and then set up the Crocodile to start attacking with Dredge Up, until our opponent runs out of cards. This is definitely not an easy combo to pull, but if you're up for a challenge, you can definitely try this build out for yourself. If you end up trying out this deck build, let me know in the comments below what you think of it. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the deck, but enough talk, let's see some gameplay. Alright. Uh, slow and steady wins the race guys right so we'll just take it slow and we are gonna go first after winning that coin flip we got NK uh, to go on our active um, we have a Pokemon research lab which is really good we could definitely set up our uh, Lilip or Cradily line so we can put that and we can use our quick ball here um, Let's see, we can either get a Snorlax, uh, but there's no way for us to um, get our Inkei out of the active, so I think I'm just going to get um, a Zigzagoon here. And we're going to use the um, the lab here to get our Leaps, so we'll get two on our bench uh, right away, because um, see the thing with the Cradily line, it's really difficult 
for us to determine whether or not uh, one will survive because if our opponent targets it early on then our whole um, our whole strategy will will get messed up so uh, with the rare candy uh, let's we evolved into our wicked ruler ops to goon and now we can start discarding our opponent's um, cards from their hand slowly but surely and we'll discard first before we use Marnie because it's gonna reduce their cards down to four anyway so might as well take one along the way and we have a switch now actually so we can get our Snorlax so let's put that on the bench we can switch it out and we can gourmandize so our research lab is basically uh, useless now we don't really need it anymore so whether or not our opponent discards that that's fine um so we're up against um a vile plume line here not sure which ones though but um we have gloom with the uh, irresistible aroma let's see uh once during your turn okay flip a coins uh, put a basic pokemon from their hand onto their bench okay well that's fine even if they use that um <laughs> They're just gonna put our uh, little crocodile there into our into our bench, so uh, we don't really mind that at all. But they're gonna marry us, so that's fine. That's fine. Uh, we got a rare candy. We just need to find an evolution. Uh, what we need is an evolution incense here um, to get our crazy line all set to go. Um, Snorlax, we don't really mind it getting KO'd. Um, Alright, so we can set this one up. Let's see. Yeah, let's use their uh, Turfield Stadium to get ourselves our creatively line here. And we'll put an energy on Inkay, and we're just gonna Garmandize. All right, we have the scoop up net to get um, Snorlax out of the active. We need to. Uh, since we already used um, the lab, we could just put the chaotic swell in place of their uh, Turfield Stadium. That way, they can't find their evolution lines. Although we can still use that, maybe set up another Cradily. But we have a rare candy. We just need to evolve into uh, Crocodile. All right, so they are gonna start attacking with their uh, vile plumes. So we're just gonna confuse these uh, with the uh, ink, and we'll put our twin energy, and we can use our quick ball, get rid of one energy. We can always just get that back, and let's just get another ink, cause um, if they have any way of retreating or something like that, we'll have another uh, ink to confuse the. Uh, their Pokemon that will replace the active. So, Wicked Ruler, Perplex to Confuse. And we're we're off to a good start. Um, yeah, so now they can't retreat. Unless they use... Okay, they have a Malo and Lana. Malo and Lana. And then they retreat back. Okay. So this is why this is why we needed to set up another ink cake. Cause um, uh, early on in the game, uh, your opponent will have a lot of uh, switching options, and so we need to always be ready for that. Because um, unless unless they exhaust all of their uh, switch, then uh, we really we 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 do expect to lose a lot of our our Pokemon in the very beginning. But that's fine. Uh, we're just basically stalling until uh, we get our hand together, anyways. All right. So they remove our chaotic swell with their Turfield Stadium, but at least they won't retain it. So now, what are we gonna do here? Um, okay, they're gonna Marnie us. Uh, that's actually good for us because we really can't do anything with this hand. So let's see what we get off of this Marnie. All right, cool. All right, they're gonna knock out our uh, Lilip. 
That's fine, we still have one more Cradily. So what we're gonna do here, oh, okay, we got a Crocodile. Let's just evolve into Crocodile using their candy. And with this energy, now we can use Perplex and just confuse um, this Vile Plume. And one thing you gotta keep in mind, especially with the Aromatic Energy, they have attached on the other Vile Plume. Um, if, you have, if you're up against any uh, deck builds that can prevent any special conditions, then uh, most likely this um, this strategy is not going to work. Alright, they're going to use Malo and Lana and switch back, I guess. Alright, so um, our means of confusing our opponent is now gone. What do we do here? Alright, we can get... We can use... Cynthia and Caitlyn, get rid of this. You can get a Marnie. All right, cool. Let's just put this in our bench. Um, let's see. We can use boss's orders in our next few turns to get. I'm thinking one of their tag teams because that one has a lot of retreat costs to it. But for now, we're just gonna put we put that hiding energy on Obstagon in case they do mess us up with that too. We can just easily retreat with that. But for now, we're gonna put Crocodile into the active, and I'm just gonna get one of these tag teams into the active. I'm gonna use Wicked Ruler here to get rid of one of their cards, and we're just gonna dredge up. Um, let's see. Let's see if they can get this out of their active. I mean, they already used two Malo and Lana, so. Let's see. Um, let's just put a two, uh, twin energy on Obstagoon. So we'll be ready, just in case. Let's just continue to dredge up. Get rid of their energy. Hope I'm hoping that, oh, you know what? Uh, they have four switches on their discard pile and two Malo and Lana. So uh, our likelihood of the likelihood of our opponent getting out of this active is uh, very slim unless they energize it and then they retreat. So <laughs> we're just gonna continue to uh, dredge up here. Dude, they just need one prize card too. So we're just gonna continue at this. Uh, we need two more turns. Okay, so they can't use any Malo and Lana in case they have any more. So we just need like two more turns to get um, to uh, deck out our opponent here. Okay, well we could just put um, triple acceleration on this one and then we'll just retreat. <laughs> we can use boss's order, switch out the other tag team so that they can't switch out. And we're just going to continue to dredge up. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This deck is... This deck is annoying. <laughs> well, one more move. Okay, <laughs> well played. They're just going to Professor's Research and uh, deck out themselves. Dude. Crocodile. Alright, we get a chance to choose... Uh, heads and we win. Nice. I like going first with this deck. If you haven't noticed already. All right. Um, we have Sandile to go into the active. Um, hmm. We have Yellhorn and Pierce. Well, we can't use it um, on our first turn, so probably just attach the Hiding Energy on our Sandile for now. Alright, well, we're up against the metal deck here, I think. We got clink clang clink clang. We're just gonna end our turn here. There's really not much we can do. Uh, the shuffle, RNG shuffle, got us um, a lot of duplicates here. Two scoop up nets and two um, yell horns, so. 
Um, I wish they would fix the RNG really, because um, this has been happening a lot. Yeah, the, the shuffling isn't as random as you would like it to be. But yeah, yeah. we'll take us we'll take it as it is, I guess. All right, that's interesting. Um, they they put a, a rocky helmet on Jirachi. I'm not sure why, but that's okay because we we're, we don't really focus on attacking with this um, this build anyways. And I don't know, bug catcher is not your usual card that a lot of um, players use nowadays. And then they have a Cramorant Cramorant V. So I think we're just gonna use uh, this quick ball. Get ourselves a Snorlax. And anyway, we can just retreat with this sand dial. And I think we're just gonna Gormandize. That'll get us two cards. All right, we got another sand dial. That's definitely good to add on our bench. And we can use our quick ball to start setting up our uh, thinking maybe getting a Zigzagoon on our next turn. Zigzagoon or Inkay. I think Zigzagoon uh, because our, since we have uh, Pierce anyways, we can start uh, building that up maybe or maybe a Krokorok. Uh, we'll see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. At least we have a general idea of what we want to do here. Alright, so our opponent passes it on to us. We get another hiding energy. Uh, let's just use this um, quick ball, get rid of one net. And yeah, I think I'm just going to go for a Zigzagoon here. And don't mind the Crobat, um, I forgot to take it off of this one. <laughs> but generally generally the uh, the build, we're not going to use Crobat in this in this game. Alright, I think I'm just going to Gormandize. We got two energies on our Sand Dials already. We got um, Inkay. And now that we have a rare candy, we can even use um, Pierce to get ourselves uh, a stage two. Um, I'm thinking maybe just to get a Obstagoon so that we can limit our opponent's hand and just continue to Gormandize until we get a evolution line for um, Crocodile. So while our opponent is having a hard time setting up their their Pokemon, we'll just get that. We'll we'll just um, take that to our advantage. Okay, so they're gonna play Sonia. Oh, it's a uh, ADPization deck, I guess. But that Kling Clang is kind of throwing me off here. Not sure why they have that on this deck, on that deck. Uh, to each his own. Maybe, maybe they have a reason for it. All right, they're just gonna Intrepid Sword. Interesting. That's okay. That gives us another turn uh, without worrying about our Pokemon getting knocked out. Um. I mean, we can use a rare candy to get a uh, get the crocodile here. We can even start using a dredge up. Now that I think about it, but for now, I think let's just put this uh, twin energy on crocodile, and probably just Gorman dies here. I really want to set up a uh, cray daily line. Maybe we get a little leap, but we need that unidentified fossil. To, to start start it up, but I'm thinking what we can do here. Um, I mean, for the meantime, our opponent is not able to attack, so uh, unless they have a lot of um, metal saucer, then then we got to start worrying about that. Um, especially if they they get ahead with the, the if they get ahead with. 
uh, altered creation, then you know that it only requires them to knock out three of our our single price Pokemon. So um, we can energize our Inke. We can confuse whoever becomes the attacker. I guess at least we have that. We ha we have Yellhorn to to back us up as well. So that's good. But you know. Having we should really set up the um, the Obstagoon uh, because uh, the AD, ADPization decks you should rely on a lot of cards on their hands so that they have a lot of options to to uh, to play. But uh, if you limit their hands, it's a lot. It really slows down ADPization decks. Look at all those cards in the our opponent's hands. If we had an Obstagoon, this would be a well. I mean, we can Marnie them. We can Marnie them. Yeah, let's just Marnie them for now because I, I don't want to give them any options uh, that will speed up um, their means of being able to use Altered Creation. So uh, let's just use uh, Evolution Incense, get ourselves a Krokorok, and evolve this. At least if we attach this Twin Energy, we can uh, use Dredge Up if we needed to. And I think I'm just going to Gormandize here. Uh, that's good. Uh, we got Skyla. We can get. Um, we can either get an identified fossil, or get ourselves Pokemon Research Lab, so that we can get our Cradily. So our opponent still has 37 cards to go on their deck, and we we are actually um, we have less than they do. So we have 29. 29 cards left in our deck, so we really have to watch out how much cards we're pulling out of our deck. Now they're getting their ADP ready. They just need a water energy. And then if they use Altered Creation, since we are not attacking, um, there's really no way for us to uh, either remove their energy or stuff like that the only way we can really win this game is if we prevent them from uh, ever attacking so even if they put the ADP in the active we can just confuse it and if you know if, if we <laughs> uh, if we get good pulls in our RNGs then we if we prevent them from ever succeeding in that attack then you know we will win this game so they just Intrepid Sword and they pass it on to us. Um, there's our Cray Dilly. Um, could use this Pokemon Research Lab. Let's see. Um, let's get a cro cro Crocodile. No, Cray Dilly. To evolve our Lilip. Put this um, energy. Oh. Wow. Okay, well. We only have one Lilip. One is prized, and you know, my mistake, I should have checked that earlier. I should have noticed that when we got our Cradilly, that we didn't have a leap. Well, that was a waste of our turn. Um, so, Pokemon, this is where Pokemon communication really comes in. When your um, Lilip is prized, and there's only one, and it's in your hand, uh, there's no way you can, you can use the uh, Pokemon Research Lab if your Lilip is in your hand. Um, you'll have to evolve it from the unidentified fossil. So uh, with the Pokemon, Pokemon communication, if it's in your hand and you have a Pokecom, you can exchange the Lilip, put it back into your deck and get another Pokemon uh, with your Pokecom. And now with that, you'll be able to use your um, Pokemon Research, Research Lab. So just keep that in mind. Um, Yeah, so it doesn't seem like our opponent has water energy, and that's good for us because now they won't be able to use Ultra Creation. Oh, okay, well, they still use Ultra Creation, but at least that's just gonna raise their attack. 
uh, but it's not gonna allow them to get extra prize card when they knock out our Pokemon. So that's good for us. So I think what I'm just gonna do here is um, use Professor's Research because we really need better better cards here. And I'm just gonna use this to evolve Kukurok. And now we have our Obstagoon, and we can use a Wicked Ruler at this point to limit our opponent's hand. See, um, they're, they're really gonna have to think about which four cards they need the most. And if they need more than one to finish off their combo, well, that's that's why Galarian Obstagoon is very uh, important in, the, in this deck build, because it really limits our opponent. Um, you, even if they're, they have like uh, switch or Malo and Lana or whatever that that will limit them. I'm just gonna dredge up here. Ooh, there's a water energy. So now with that dredge up, that probably uh, saved us in a sense that they won't be able to attack with this ADP now. I mean, they can switch it out maybe if they have like a lot of metal metal saucer to put on Zacian. Okay, speaking of, but they also need water energy to actually attack with um, uh, their Milotic in the, in the bench. So limiting their water energy actually uh, may, may have just saved us. Alright, they're gonna bosses order us and they're gonna target Obstagoon. Um, but do they have a switch? They can't attack with this ADP. Uh, they can't attack with ADP. So there you go. Um, Wicked Ruler basically limited them. Now, now that they needed it, that they don't have it. So I think I'm just gonna boss order this Milotic. Uh, and I think I just, I can just retreat with Obstagoon. So we attached that Twin Energy last turn. So let's just attach another Energy on it, and we're just gonna add Dredge up. So in case they bosses order it again, we can just escape with it. And even if they bosses order like our Snorlax, we can use Skyla to get a scoop of net or something if we still have it. All right, they're gonna use their own Skyla. Maybe they have a switch. They wanna get a switch or something. And that'll be the end of our crocodile. But I think what I'm going to do, um, we can use, I mean, um, we only have one Lilip in, in, in our deck, right? So I think I'm going to have to get uh, Ordinary Rod here to get them back into our deck. So we can use the Research Lab while it's still there. Okay, so they can't, they still can't switch out with Milotic, so that's good. Uh, I'm just gonna Wicked Ruler first before I forget. So that they'll have to discard two cards from their hand. Dude, this Wicked Ruler Crocodile team is, is really good. So it limits their hand, and if they're hoping for a top deck, uh, you'll just get rid of it. Now they won't be able to get. Uh, a lot of cards in their hand, but you know what? It depends. It depends. Sometimes, um, most some of the other games that I played with this uh, this build actually um, get what they need from their top deck. So, alright, so we're just gonna use ordinary rod, get our cradily line here. Um, yeah, let's just get these two back. I mean, we already have a cradily, but it's it's better to be sure. So I think for now I'm just gonna dredge up while I have the chance, dude. I think we uh, discarded another water energy there, so that will again limit this Milotic and also ADP. We're just getting good uh, dredge up uh, discards here. <laughs> I mean, you know, I feel bad for our opponent, but. 
since we're discarding important cards that they need, you know, that's I guess that's the whole point of Crocodile. That's the whole point of discarding our opponent's cards, right? Uh, but they have an Aurora Energy, so now they can attack with ADP. Uh, but that's okay, because they, they'll only be taking one card anyways. Right, so they have uh, two energies here, two switch, so they might still have more switches in their hand, in their in their deck. What? They're gonna have Trepid Sword? Do they not have a full set of switch? Well, you know what? I don't play a full set of switch. So I think I'm just gonna keep uh, using Dredge. Dredge up, cause oh, there was another water energy. <laughs> yeah, there are three, no, three water energy. So, uh, okay, they have energy switch. I mean, they have uh, three cards left on their on their deck. So what we're gonna do is just wicked ruler, and even if they, even if they knock out this crocodile, we have another crocodile set up on our bench. So we could just discard those three. And then we win the game. Dude, they weren't even able to knock out any one of our Pokemon. That's so good. But at the same time, you know what? They uh, they really had a slow setup in the very beginning. But I think the dredge up that we did in the past, in the few turns that we just had, actually helped us uh, discarding all those water energies. So... Well, well played. We just have to use our crocodile from our bench, promote it into the active, and then just use dredge up for the win. They will get one prize card for that one knockout, but that's it. That's all they get. So, yeah, uh, this deck has been has proven itself. <laughs> all right, cool, good game. All right, so our opponent is calling the coin flip here, and we win. Yes, let's go first. Um, they are using a fire deck, so you know what? Maybe going first wasn't such a good idea, because now they can use like Wilder or something to energize really quick, and then they could just knock out our po our Pokemon. They could even donk us, donk. But for now we have, yes, let's get these three extra cards. Cool. We have an Inke. Let's put that on the bench. And I, we don't want to put Chaotic Swell yet, but we'll play Unidentified Fossil. Um, and then I think I'll just use Quick Ball to get a Snorlax. And we can switch it into the active so we can start using Gorman dice but first this Pokemon communication so that we can uh, let's see we can get ourselves I mean we can get a leap to evolve in the next turn or we can get a sand dial so we can set it up yeah I think I'm just gonna do that and switch Snorlax into the active and I'm just gonna use Heal Horn because using Gorman Dice doesn't affect us, it's an ability, so at least our opponent now cannot attack or even use its um Sableye can't use the its attack to get anything from the discard pile. Um it's good we have a rare candy and we can also evolve our Lilith. So with the rare candy, I think I will evolve Obstagoon first if I, I I think I think that's the best choice so that we can continue to limit our opponent's hand because we won't be able to use dredge up right away anyways because we still need to get our Cradily line f to prevent our opponent from retreating okay so we are up against a Charizard uh, Reshiram and Char uh, Charizard tag team. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna use it, uh, the candy for Obstagoon. Oh, we actually have a, another rare candy, so 
why not just evolve this other crocodile? So <laughs> we're getting pretty good cards. Uh, let's just gourmandize here. We get a professor's research. That's really good. We can either set up another sand dial to crocodile line. Could do that. And I think I could energize the NK. Or I could start energizing Crocodile. Let's see. Let's see first what our opponent does. With the two energy, they use it to hard retreat. Okay. But now they can't attach any energy on this Cramorant because they just attached it. Okay. So now it's passed on to us. Now we can use um, Inke, I think. That's what we could do. Um, let's just use Marnie, I think. Before we do anything here. Okay. Um, I think I think we should have just used that. The cards we had in our previous hand. But that's okay. I'll just attach the twin energy and gourmandize. So now uh, we have to figure out um, how to get Snorlax out of the active. So we can use Inke and confuse this Cramorant. Um, Cramoran, let's see, who is the best Pokemon from our opponent's side to confuse and trap into the active? So that's the, that's the question you should always ask, I guess, with this build. Which Pokemon do I want in the active to confuse and trap? Always use the one that doesn't, ideally, okay, ideally, get the one that can't attack and can, it has a hard time retreating. Okay, they're gonna Marnia, so that's okay. Um, there was a lot of cards in our hand that we couldn't use anyways. Well, we get a Yellhorn, that's really good. So now we don't have to worry about confusing anybody uh, with our Pokemon. Now we could just use an item and do that. So now all we have to figure out is get... Um, what we could do actually is confuse Cramorant now. And that will prevent it from escaping because we now have a Cradily and then we can just use Marnie and I think I can put that twin energy on our sand dial as well so our opponent still has to figure out how to energize their Pokemon I guess that's probably what they got from their B catch Ooh, we got a we got a Skyla but let's just wicked ruler limit their hand and I'm probably gonna use Marnie that way we can disrupt Whatever it is that they caught with their beak. Because, you know, beak catch. What did they... Yeah, anyways. <laughs> Alright, so we forced them to discard those two cards. I think I'm just going to use Skyla. And I can just use Switch. And Switch... Wait, no. Let's Yellhorn first to confuse. Now they can't escape. Switch crocodile I'm gonna use evolution incense to evolve our sand dial and attach our twin energy and then we can use dredge up there you go so they may have like a welder or something but at least now their cramorant is stuck unless they have a switch then at least we have another um, crocodile line um, we just need one energy on Krokorok, and it should be able to use Dredge up as well. And also we have Inke to confuse whoever goes back, who, whoever replaces um, Cramorant in the active. So we're good with that. So we have a lot of options in our next turn. We can use Marnie to get ourselves extra cards, and we can use Wicked Ruler to limit our opponent's hand. Alright, so now we have our options. There's the welder. Who are they going to attach it to is the question. Okay, they're going to go for the Charizard tag team. Okay, so now it's ready to attack, but now they need a switch. 
uh, to get this Kramer out of the active. Energy Spinner. That'll get them more um, fire energies. Oh, they have a um, Psychic Energy. That's weird. Maybe for healing. If you guys didn't know, you can actually use the um, the Suspicious Can to heal any Pokemon with a uh, Psychic Energy on it. So It's not just limited to Psychic Pokemon. Alright, so it's able to use its B-Catch. But we can just Marnie it. Uh, you know what? We can Wicked Ruler first to limit their hand. And then we can Marnie. Um, but let's see. Yeah, let's yeah. Let's just use Wicked Ruler. Give our opponent some time to decide what they want to discard. I'm thinking of attaching that Dark Energy on NK actually. So that we can prepare to uh, confuse our opponent in case they get out of it. And then we can just Marnie after this. Alright, so our opponent has decided. And I think I'm just going to attach this Dark Energy on Inkay. And I'm going to use Marnie. Get Professor's Research, okay. Um, nothing we really need. So I think I'm just going to use Dredge Up. Let's see, okay we got... We, we discarded a lot of... Um, I don't know. I think those are non-essentials, so... I don't think it'll affect our opponent that much. And they do have a Welder still. I think I think they, they still have a Welder. Okay, another Charizard tag team. So that we got Reshizard and also Charizard and Brixen tag team. So our opponent is really focused on all these V's and GX. They don't even have any uh, single prizers on their deck. I mean they did, but it's in the discard now. Alright, cool. So that didn't work. So now, what we can do here is just continue to use Dredge Up. I don't want to discard all of those uh, energies. We don't need another Pokemon with a Quick Ball, so we are good to go. Uh, if anything, we can use Quick Ball, use Pokecom to get uh, another Crocodile. Nice. So the Confusion got the best of our opponent. And I'm just going to continue to use Dredge Up, I think. Yeah, let's just continue to do that. We have quite a ways to go, but within four turns or less, because our opponent has 12 cards left on their on their deck, so we're good. So three, six, nine, twelve, yeah. So three turns, but then they get a card every turn that they pass. Oh, they have a bird keeper. Oh, okay. So that is actually going to eliminate our crocodile crocodile in the active. Because they can just attack and knock it out. But that's okay, we still have a chance because they have 9 cards left on their hand, on their, on their deck. So I think what I'm going to do here is just promote Inke. And um, let me, let's do Wicked Ruler first to limit their hand once again. And then we can confuse. We can attach an energy on our Krokorok. Um, I mean, we can use this quick ball. Oh no, we don't have any more uh, basic. I was gonna use that and then exchange the with the Pokemon communication to get a uh, crocodile. But all we could do now is just use Perplex to confuse our opponent's um, Reshizard. And now that's going to prevent them from retreating unless they have any switch. And what we could do in our next turn is just scoop up net this Inkay. And we can attach an energy on Krokorok. And just use Dredge up with the three energies that we have on it. 
and just continue to discard our opponent's uh, top three cards on their deck. Dredge up. Not bad. Uh, this deck actually, dude, it took me a while to figure out how to use Krokorok. You know, without. Oh, okay. So they use the GX attack. So I, what we could do is just promote Krokorok here. Add an energy. And then. Let's Wicked Ruler. I mean, one card. One card is one card, you know? That could be the uh, the the card that they need on their next turn or something. So, and I think I'm just gonna use Dredge up. Oh, dude! What did I do? All right, I made a um, misclick there. I was supposed to use uh, Dredge up, and my mouse pointed on the. <laughs> Oh no, okay. This 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 could mean the game for us. Okay, so that was a silly mistake. Alright, let's just put Snorlax into the active. And I'm just gonna use uh, Cynthia and Caitlyn. Alright, that that one mistake probably cost us the game. Let's just get let's just get Skyla. And I'm just gonna use Wicked Ruler for now. Dude, I was just about to say, dude, that, you know, it was I was having a hard time building this uh, Crocodile deck. Because, you know, you want Crocodile to be the start of the show. You know, if you have a lot of other Pokemon that's doing all the work for you, for Crocodile, then it's not really a Crocodile deck. So, you know, this, this has been working out pretty well for me, but uh, with this matchup, uh, given that I guess uh, human error plays a part <laughs> in how good uh, your deck build is, you know? If you don't know how to play uh, the deck you've built, then I guess that's that's what makes it really bad. But you know what? In my defense, that was just a misclick. I, I meant to click... <laughs> Stupid. I meant to click the other, uh, the dredge up attack. But that's okay. I'm. I hope that our opponent doesn't. Uh, I mean, they they still need three more prizes to go. Uh, they still have five. They have five cards left on their deck. So I mean, you know, how are we gonna win this now? We have to wait five turns. Is that <laughs> is that how it's gonna go? Well, let's see how it goes. You know, never give up. Never give up. Never surrender. Why? Why did they use outrage? They could have just knocked out Obstagoon, but that's fine. Uh, that's good for us. I'm just gonna use Ordinary Rod because again, we only have um, a two two line of Sandile. We have another Krokorok, so we we just need those two basics. Um, let's just do this and then retreat into Snorlax because uh, Obstagoon is still pretty useful up to this point. If they get enough cards on their hand, we can just we could ruler it and then have them discard it. So at least we have Sonya. We can just get um, two. We can just get two. Um, Sand dials. Oh man. That Cramorant. No mercy, man. Alright, well they're down to two prizes left on their in their deck. So I think I'm just gonna use Sonya, get these two sand dials. And then I think I'm just gonna put one on the bench. Because um, and attach the twin energy. We can use the uh, Pokemon communication. To get ourselves a crocodile and use rare candy uh, to evolve it, so that's one option. I mean, even if they KO this Snorlax, we can just use. Um... Ooh, yeah! You know, unless they they Marnie. 
unless they money you know uh we just need to we just need to dredge up the last three cards of their deck but it depends on what card our opponent has i want to say well played but you know never never celebrate too early that's what they say right so unless they bosses order this sand dial that'll be it for us Ooh, <laughs> well played <laughs> dude even with that mess up that we had so now we can just use this pokecom exchange this for a crocodile use our rare candy to evolve into crocodile and then that's it we just use dredge up to discard the rest of their deck for the win you guys gotta admit that was a great comeback <laughs> crocodile guys crocodile is actually pretty good but on its own i think the only niche suited for it is centered around milling your opponent until they deck out and for the milling combo to work it needs to pair with other pokemon and because of this the deck space will become more limited the more pokemon you add in the deck with all this considered this build is not as consistent as i would like it to be I guess the only way to play this build is to have the mindset that you won't win all the games and really to just see this as a challenge but overall if you get all the cards you need as you set up this combo should work most of the time and that's it for today i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please 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 don't forget to smash that like button let me know your thoughts in the comments below and please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already my name is joseph you've been watching the popsicle night channel thank you so much for watching and as always stay safe and have a great day